two dogs are coming. Dogs make me dizzy how often they go from one side of the road to the other with moving traffic. Again? Food to go, cheeseburger to go, french fries to go. Oh yeah. Thanks a lot. And drink? Does he want to drink? No. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, give him gin. Yeah, sure. I bought myself coffee, smokes, a couple of burgers for later. The community park in town, called Bayern or something. They're doing the Christmas uh, decoration tree. This for coin. See? Pretty cool. Step 1k. That's enough for the day. Out of town. Just a matter of time before Sushi gets hit. Just a matter of time. She belongs to nobody. Nobody at the hostel says that they are not. Off the road for a while. See, she's getting worse on the road. She got kicked by a driver. He tried to kick her, but missed her. But why would he try to kick her? So, what we have here as a dog is a traffic hazard. He cannot control. I couldn't. Listeners tick him out sometimes, but he can't control her not coming in with you because she'll jump and if you lock her in a room someone just lets her out and she runs after so what happens <clears throat> if a bike hits her somebody on the bike hits her he comes off as an accident he's going to pay for his hospital bills or whatever no one at the hostel because they don't take responsibility. And I don't want to. So what would you do in that situation? Every time you go for a walk you with a traffic hazard. And that's a lesser tra traffic hazard but still another traffic hazard. And same scenario. No one claims ownership. No one will claim responsibility. Mm, that's Filipino style. I welcome the dogs to live at the hostel. Feed them. Be kind to them. But they won't say they own them or they belong to them if it's like this Jack sees a dog 
in the opposite direction after we come back from here. It runs after it. See she follows, doesn't know what to do. We're going this way. See, are the dogs walking with me or not? I don't think so.